guys and gals. What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to the Iron Man Challenge. This is Iron Woman. Greetings. We are hanging out here at Nigel's Point. We are in Desolus. In this episode, we're going to be slaying some undead ravagers. Yes, sirree. Hope you guys and gals are doing well. Last episode, we sl we killed uh, some centaur. Got our reputation up. We also have a quest to go down here and speak to the leader of the Gelkis, I think is what they're called. We might do that. Yeah, let's get into it. Get on the road here. Oh, we still need Scorpids. We don't need the Snappers, though. We need the, uh, the Lashers, I believe. And some Kodos. The skin of, I should say. Good place to get them over there. Or up here, rather. Had a pretty frustrated, uh, frustrating morning so far. The car battery died last night, and uh, I walked home at three thirty in the morning. And I've been trying to, you know, figure out how to get back over there. It's a couple miles away. I have two friends, but they're both they have stuff going on today, and so I got frustrated, and I decided to ride my bike. So it's, <laughs> I used to have this thing, it's a jump pack. You basically hook it up to your battery and it's just a, basically a battery and you could jump, you could start your car that way. And I thought I had one in my actual car, but so I rode my bike downtown, it wasn't in my car. So I was like, okay. So my options now are to ride my bike back about a mile to the auto parts store. What I decided to do instead is I just disconnected the battery. And I carried the battery in my hand and rode my bike all the way back to my house. And I'm charging the battery now. Battery weighs about a car battery, a, you know, like an average battery is between 40 and 50 pounds. It is not easy riding a bike <laughs> with a 50-pound battery in one hand up and down hills and shit. Eh, good God, man. It was... It was rough. Nice. Be careful. Not the best area in here. Wow, I already pulled off of him? Holy shit. Oh, I actually need this. Okay. I'm kind of focus up here. Fuck, we're going to pull this. T are we? Okay, good. We did not. These are neutral mobs. Whole bunch of them coming. My pet is getting wrecked. He's poisoned. Oh, fuck. I was pulling here. Can he get threat? He got it. I don't know. I have no mana. Didn't even see this mob because it was behind the Kodo. Okay. Let me focus up. There's a skin. 
Let's see if we get a venom from this thing. No. All right, let's get matted up. Let's focus up here. Yeah, so my friend actually just texted me. She said she can get her car by like 3.30. So this battery I'm charging, it you, can, you sometimes you have to charge a battery overnight. This thing is completely dead. I've been charging it for a couple hours and it's the needle has barely moved, so it probably wouldn't be ready. So what I'm going to do, or what I've already decided to do, is I purchased another jump pack because I don't know where my other one went. You can get them for like a hundred bucks. And so I'll have her come get me with the battery. Stop by AutoZone and I'll pick up the pack, the little battery pack thing. Just have her drop me at the uh, at my car, which is right in front of where she lives. Put the battery in and use the pack, drive it home. The alternator will charge the battery. That'll be the plan. Anyway, this is where we will find these undead ravagers. Oh shit, I didn't even see this thing. Got a little patrol here. Ooh, these are level 40. This is not good. I wonder why I'm pulling off of him so easily. Okay, she's a patrol. I think these um, these necromancers will summon adds, so I want to avoid them if I can. So I got a great, a really great tip about. Um, dual wielding here as a hunter your offhand I think it does 25% damage or something at best 50 for rogues so what I'm probably going to be doing is trying to find like a heavy duty two handed axe is what I'll do I didn't think about that so big hard hitting slow weapon might be better. Plus, with Raptor Strike. Thank you very much for that tip. I appreciate it. I think that was from a, a new subscriber. Welcome to the channel, and thank you very much for subscribing. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying some of the some of the Let's Plays we got going on. Yeah, it was a great uh, tip. The only thing that I'm upset about myself because I already bought two daggers for level 38. They were like a gold something a piece from a vendor, but it is what it is. I'll just sell them back. And uh, get ourselves a two-handed axe, man. Or whatever. I mean, we could... Hunters can use pole arms too, I believe. We'd have to level that all the way up. Two-handed axes. Do I have any skill? No, I have none. Well, I, don't, I don't know uh, pole arms. Things are kind of creepy. They are skeletons. Oh, 
trouble? Yeah, car trouble is, uh, it's no fun. Especially if you just have one car. Luckily, it's a nice day. So it was... It wasn't freezing. It was pretty warm outside when I went. I kind of needed it. I needed to needed some cardio, get a little sunshine. I mean, obviously it's not, you know, it's a frustrating situation, but don't. Let's drink up here. Kind of a weird place back here. bed early tonight. I think I've gotten myself back on a regular day shift. I hope so. Let's bring him back a little. Away from that caster. Yeah, those little jump packs, it's a great thing to keep in your car. You never know. I don't know what the shelf life is on them. But instead of having to ask somebody for a jump, or if you're in the middle of nowhere, or if you have no jumper cables, you just connect this thing to your battery. A little a couple of buttons you push, and it... Uh, You jump start the car that way. And then the longer you drive your car, your alternator's job is to keep it recharges your battery, keeps the battery charged. here. Actually, we should have time before this uh, this ad comes. This patrol, rather. Uh-oh. We too close here? Just kind of keeping an eye out, so... Make she doesn't like fade in or something too close to me. Fuck, I did pull him. Oh, the pet just leveled up. That's pretty good. Rapid fire. There's a really annoying quest you have to do here where you have to like capture ghosts or souls or some shit. It is a pain in the ass. Might be Horde that has to do that. I'm not doing it if we get the quest.
bones of a big serpent. Two of them. The trident. Kind of strange. It's like the uh, the mobs you have in Zuldrak. What does that guy say? The Zandalari gonna kill anybody who trespass on these lands. Something like that. Wait for this patrol to show up here. She doesn't go that far out. She goes like almost. She goes like right in here and then comes back. They've got a little kick that they do. It would probably knock knock you down in melee. There's a construction crew across the street and they're tearing down there's a building that's been there for about a hundred years and they're tearing it down and it's kinda sad, man. I mean it's a creepy ass building. It's an old Western building. It's on the college campus's property, but they're, you know, they're demolishing it. It's in very poor shape, but still, it's. They're doing a bunch of stuff across the street. I think it's going to be like a community garden or something that's over there. So I'm glad about that because I live at the very edge of the neighborhood. It faces west. And if you go that way, you just go off up into the Gila Forest and stuff. So I'm glad they're not putting like a fucking, I don't know, some stupid store or, you know, Something like that. I'm glad it's like a community thing, at least. Let's pull this over here. Do not want to pull these necromancers. There's a family of deer that I've seen since I moved in, they hang out, well, all through this neighborhood, but especially out here right across the street. They have no fear of humans or cars around here. It's a very slow neighborhood. It's a quiet neighborhood, but I'm not even kidding. I've come back to the gym. You know, it's still dark outside. They're st literally standing in the street right in front of the house pull my car up to the curve, open the door, and they're literally a foot away. They're just standing there. Kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah, they have no... That's a different one. Let's take him. bit close here. I missed my sting. I have so much work to do on my car. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. Here she comes. That is a slow patrol. I still have duct tape on my hood. Last year, I had to cut the hood. 
It's a long story. I explained it on the channel. I did actually, I made a video of it. It's actually on the channel. I need to fiberglass the hood and seal the, uh, seal the hole. But the car is silver. Duct tape is silver. <laughs> I couldn't get the hood open for a long fucking time. It was bad. Finally got it open. So she's already gone back. Okay. Both of the window motors are going. The the fourth generation Camaros have the worst engine mo uh, window motors, the automatic motors. Dude, they're fucking terrible. They are just garbage. They get really, really slow, and then eventually they'll stop working. I had a 96 Camaro before I had this 97. I had to replace... I only had the car six years. I had to replace the, the, the driver's side motor twice and the passenger side once in six years. I've not been able to find, like, an aftermarket more powerful motor or something. They are not easy to replace. They are such a pain. They, they're riveted in to the door panel. It's a massive pain in the ass. But the motor's failing on the driver's side. Above and beyond all of that, I've got a... Uh, exhaust gas leak between the head and the block. It's either warps or the the um uh the gasket is is fucked, is cracked from an overheat. What are we doing? We need ten more. Such a grindy ass quest. So, because of that, I'm a, a little bit reluctant to do things like fix the hole in the hood. The car is drivable. I've partially sealed it with some additive that you add to the radiator. It's partially sealed. It's a slow leak, but if you drive the car long enough... It will overheat. Guy's too close here. This guy. Guess we can just make our way back around. to the other side. Oh, we got one here. items here. Sorry about the low energy. Um, I didn't get much sleep. Um, I'm really tired, kind of worn out. 
And like I said, it's been a kind of a frustrating day, but I'm trying to keep my spirits up. I know it'll be resolved. I'll, I'll get the thing going today. It's my fault. One thing I, I am going to do is uh, look for a, a toggle switch, an on-off switch, that at least has a light. Unless I can set it up to attach... Gotta disengage. I cannot have these things whacking on me. We don't have the health for it. I might be able to wire it into the... You know, if you leave your lights on, you get out of the car. I mean, most headlights these days are automated, but it's an older car. They're they're automated on my car, too. But tie it in so it'll ding, 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 or whatever, you know? If you have the key in the ignition and open the door, it'll ding at you. I think a light would be fine if I can just get a toggle light for when it's on. And the reason it's hot wired, it's fans, you know, your your radiator fan isn't hot wired. It's, it's not manual. I bypassed mine simply because I couldn't wait. I wanted full control of it. Let me just check this. Order's ready for pickup. That's my um Uh, the jump pack, whatever the thing's called. I think it's called battery jumper or something. sure wish I could afford another car. <laughs> the thing is, I love that Camaro so much. It is such a unique car. I'm a pretty typical guy, I guess, like gearhead. I get really excited about, like, muscle cars especially. I don't get excited about, like, souped-up Hondas or, you know, that's... That's not my thing, but I like classic looking muscle cars that sound, you know, they don't sound like weed, weed eaters or the fake tailpipe shit. God, that drives me nuts. If you've got one, that's cool. I mean, you know, everybody likes what they like, but I'm just not, it's not my thing. I, I hate that noise. The sound of those fucking tailpipes you'd stick on the back. But I, the thing is, like, I do want another car. I want a reliable car, something I don't have to constantly fix and repair. Something that has AC, everything fucking works in it, but good on gas. My car is terrible on gas. <laughs> it's ridiculous. If I had like my own house and a garage, I would probably do it. I would, you know, save up and get some used car or something and put this thing, uh, put it in the garage, just put a cover on it, put it in the garage and work on it slowly or whatever. But it's a daily driver. It's my only car. This is our last one. 
And let's get the hell out of here. Pretty perfect, about 30 minutes here. Kind of forgot about uh, multi shot. It's great filler. Rank two of it is. That was another great tip I'd never thought about before. All right, we're just going to hearth back. Well, wait, we do need. We'll run back and I'll kill some lashers, some scorpions on the way, or some kodos and see if we can work on that. Get some of it done, maybe. And then I'm gonna get ready for uh my friend's gonna stop by and get me. Get this done and out of the way. get the car back here I didn't go to the gym obviously because I didn't have the vehicle but I'm kind of glad I took the day off I'm pretty beat and I wouldn't have I would have gone to the gym I have a piece of fish my friend There's a quest over here at this goblin, too. Um, Kodo Roundup we could do, but we're not going to be doing it today. Scrabble Screws Camp. It's also an escort quest. Which I failed many times. I failed that quest so many times. Can we actually see this as the Alliance? I think it's a neutral goblin. Yeah, it is. I mean, at this point in the game, classic goblins aren't like horde only. You know, Booty Bay is neutral, Ratchet's new neutral. No scorpids. All right, well, we'll do it next time. I guess goblins got the were they introduced in Cataclysm, right? I think. I know the worgen are. And uh, I will be playing a worgen. I might do a poll as far as what uh, class. But uh, I love the worgen star starting area and the worgen storyline, all of it. It's... And we do need something new. Um, I think we've pretty much done everything on the channel. as far as uh, what well, races and classes really the only thing we haven't done is genders with certain races like dwarfs we haven't done female dwarf or female tauren I don't know, maybe we'll roll dice. I think I've got my other camera, my old camera I got somewhere. Set the dice cam back up and roll some dice to figure out a few things on the worgen, maybe.
Boy, am I tired. <laughs> I don't want to leave my car up there, though. Hmm, we have here. She was here uh, when we left. She was up this way. Anime. With the gorilla pet. They eat fruit. Mm -hmm. right, where was this turn in? Up here. All right, my friend. Light be with you. Light be with be you. careful. South Shore. Light bless you. All right. Let's sell a few things here. What are you looking for? Um, I've got some stuff to sell. That's what I'm holding on to this for. Uh, we may as well stock back up on Moonberry Juice. And level 40. We can switch over to Jagged Arrows. That's going to be nice. Oh boy, we're almost out of arrows here. Let's stock up on some more Razor Arrows. We'll go through these easy. Let's get rid of that one. All right. Safe travels. All right, well, that's going to do it. Thank you for hanging out for a little bit. I appreciate it, you guys and gals. Take care. Iron Woman and myself will catch you in tomorrow's episode. Till we meet again. Peace. Mm -hmm.